morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us and joining me as we uh, look at our December 5th through December 9th work week forecast. First week, or first full week, I guess, in December. Um, and once again, we're not looking at great uh, weather in terms of getting that early season winter activities going. Um, once again, this week, we're looking at just rain um, from a storm and relatively mild temperatures. It's kind of been rough for the ski areas out there as we get going early in the season here. We're going to talk a little bit about why that's happening. And uh, hopefully, we're in, we are sort of in store for the beginnings of a pattern change over the next, uh, after we get through this week, but uh, still no guarantees as to what that's going to look like and uh, whether we'll get into a colder and a more snowy pattern um, or if we're going to get stuck in something maybe different than what we're in now, but maybe not different in a way that's helpful. A little early to tell. Um, okay, one of the problems here in terms of why we continue to have these warm storms is this very active, very warm uh, south, uh, subtropical jet stream that's uh, really pumping in warm, moist air from the, uh, from, uh, the Pacific. Uh, across the southeastern United States, there are a lot of warm weather down here. This has been very consistent, very strong, not unusual for La Nina. Um, uh, the exact, and the placement of it is not helpful either. Um, it can be more helpful if it, if it, if it uh, moves the moisture over kind of uh, the far southeast. But right now we've been getting all this moisture across Texas and the southern plains. And it, uh, what happens is it, it teams up with uh, energy from the northern jet stream. It creates a storm and the storm races way off to the northeast, the north of us, essentially north and west of us, I should say which puts us on the warm side of the storm. Uh, there's also some issues of why that's happening, being caused by what's going on in the uh, northern Atlantic. We're going to take a look at that in a little bit here, um, just to give you an idea of why that overall pattern is happening. But um, needless to say, this needs to all break down uh, and change if we're going to get any snow. This is just a pattern that's basically impossible for us to get anything but what we're getting right now. Um, so <clears throat> we can see what that looks like on radar. Same kind of thing here, right? We have uh, the moisture. For our next system, which is going to come through tomorrow into Wednesday, uh, here across the southeastern United States, we've got energy across the northern plains. This is going to team up, and then it's going to head well to our north and west, and it is going to give us rain. Uh, so let's take a look at what's going on across the northern Atlantic that's also sort of happening there. Um, so actually, so here you see we, we, we do have a trough across the eastern uh, sort of across the eastern third of the country. This would be, this is what we kind of need in the in the northern jet stream in order to give us, put us in a snow position. But the problem here is, one, the trough doesn't extend far enough south. You can see it kind of flattens out, the flow flattens out across most, uh, basically everywhere south of New England. It is why we've gotten some slightly cooler air. You know, we have gotten a, a shot of cooler air for this morning in there. It's the coldest morning we've had in a while. Um, and then the reason that we're not able to dig real deep here is we don't have a real good ridge. There is a ridge, but, but way off, too far east uh, across the North Atlantic. We need a ridge kind of along the, just east of the eastern seaboard so that storms ride down along the trough and then ride back up along the coast. Right now, the whole pattern is we've got this ridge kind of back here, and it's kind of folded over. And so everything is sneaking way up uh, just southeast of Hudson Bay, um, which is not a good storm track for us. So um, this all needs to change. And it's been blocked out blocked out here because we've had um, – we basically got a high over low um, – uh, blocking pattern. That's a pretty consistent blocking pattern. They can last quite a while. So anyways, all this setup is just not good for our weather in terms of winter weather. If you don't want, if you like this late fall kind of rainy weather, well then uh, you're uh, kind of unique, but you're getting what you want. There's not too many of you out there though, unfortunately. So I know a lot of everybody's looking for snow. So what does that look like in terms of practical weather for the week? Because that's what you're probably really worried about. So today, uh, 40 degrees across southern Vermont on average for high temperatures after starting off in the low 20s this morning. We will see some sun today, not a ton of it. Um, we're in and out of the clouds. And then it's very gray for a lot of the week after this, unfortunately. Tomorrow's cloudy and then rainy in the afternoon. Uh, this is going to be a light to moderate rain for the most part, but it is going to be pretty long duration. Anywhere from uh, anytime afternoon tomorrow, we could see some rain through uh, really, Wednesday afternoon, I think by Wednesday afternoon we're into drizzle, but um, it's kind of kind of a gray, ugly day. Uh, temperatures in the mid-40s tomorrow uh, after starting out uh, are in around 30 or so for a lot of us. Uh, we cool back down, not much, just into the mid or to the low 40s. We're in the upper 40s on Wednesday with that rain. Then we kind of have an upside-down day as we do get a front that moves through uh, behind our storm. We start off the day in the mid-40s still, and by the afternoon, we're falling. Temperatures are falling into the upper 30s uh, with maybe a peak of sun by Thursday afternoon. Friday looks like a decent day, chillier, more winter-like, more, more seasonal for this time of year. Temperatures in the mid-30s after starting off in the mid-20s. Like I said, hard to tell beyond this, but um, it does look like the pattern is starting to break down a little bit um, according to a lot of the models as we head past this weekend. We'll have to see, though. It's a little early to really lock that in. Models often do a really bad job with pattern flips. Another worm week 
with rain but no snow. Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday will feature periods of light to moderate rain. Total rain accumulation, a half inch to an inch of rain. Mon Monday and Friday feature the most sun of the week, so try to get out there and enjoy that. And the current pattern looks to break down starting this weekend into next week. Like I said, that's not a guarantee, and exactly how it's going to break down, the models often struggle with. So um, we're going to kind of have to wait and see a little bit on that. Okay. Uh, I will be back on Friday with an update to look at your work or your weekend forecast, and I'll certainly. Um, with that forecast, try to look out a little bit and see, is this pattern going to switch? Are we going to get into a snowy pattern anytime before Christmas? And uh, yeah, what's December going to bring? All right. Uh, thanks for joining me. And like I said, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, uh, please do that because it will help make sure you don't miss any of my videos. And also, um, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here at the Westbrook Weather Guide. I'll be back on Friday morning.